what is postural hypotension and how they induce it let me explain it let's suppose this is this is who is this okay this is you right when you are lying down okay let's take it this bottle at least there should be this is your beautiful little head right now this is a bottle but let's assume it is you when you are lying down right you in this position blood is evenly distributed in lower part and upper part of the body right if you suddenly sit up or stand up what will happen due to gravity effect blood will have a tendency to pool in lower part of the body you know from lying down position if suddenly stand stand up up to 600 to 700 ml of blood is reduced in upper part of the body due to pooling in lower part of the body is that right now let's okay i will take a little water so that uh, i can explain it better now you see there is underfilled hypovolemia is there but let me let me tell you this is normal volume okay we will induce hypovolemia after drinking more water water level is here right now in lying down position upper and lower part have good amount of blood not water right i hope you are not so watery okay now when you stand up blood has a tendency to pool in lower part of body this tendency is not good why this is not good if truly it happens that every time any one of you from lying down position suddenly sit up or stand up and if really blood pool too much in lower part of the body what will happen venous return will be less cardiac ventricular filling will be less and diastolic volume will be less yes stroke volume will be less cardiac output will be less and when cardiac output will reduce upper part of the body will be hypoperfused and that might result in cerebral ischemia which may result in vertigo dizziness and even blackouts right but thanks god normally it does not happen to everyone from when you from lying down position you suddenly stand up it means our biological system have some ways to prevent this gravitational pooling of the blood in lower part of the body normal physiologically so normally what happen there are multiple mechanisms right there are cardiac responses when you suddenly stand up to maintain the blood uh, cardiac output and to maintain the blood flow to the upper part of the body especially to the brain body has a very quick mechanisms right to compensate or prevent the pooling of the blood in lower part of the body and to maintain the blood flow to the upper part of the body right there are cardiac responses there are vascular responses you know vessels in lower part of the body squeeze so they maintain the from lying down position when you suddenly stand up the vessels in lower part of the body undergo slight vasoconstriction to squeeze the blood so that venous return to the heart is somewhat maintained and cardiac output is maintained and cerebral ischemia does not occur just there are multiple mechanisms there are muscular mechanisms there are cardiac mechanisms there are neurohumoral mechanisms there are vaso uh, vasal mechanism uh, vascular mechanism but i will right now today i will just concentrate on one mechanism which is very pronounced then normal person in physiological situations in lying down position upper and lower part of the body has almost even distribution of blood but if there is person suddenly sit up or stand up blood has a tendency due to gravity gravity tendency to pool in lower part of the body but as you change the position blood vessel the lower part of the body slightly constrict and squeeze the blood so that venous return to the heart is maintained and cardiac output is maintained just imagine if this bottle is as magical as your body what will happen as i will move from horizontal position to like this suddenly its lower part shrinks and level of level this which is here let's suppose here is the heart right or here is the heart its lower part squeezes on 
becoming vertical, it will maintain the return. This is normally happens when physiologically, right? But if there's any interference with this mechanism, right? What is this mechanism? This mechanism is basically physiological mechanism tries to maintain the venous return to the heart when person takes from supine position to sudden sitting, sitting or standing position uh, by many compensatory mechanisms. One of them is vasoconstriction in lower part of the body. Is that right? Now, if person is on such drugs which produce intense vasodilation, Suppose if I have taken some drugs which are very strong vasodilators, then what will happen if I'm on those drugs? If I suddenly from lying down position stand up, they will not squeeze properly and venous return will be less, cardiac output will be less and cerebral ischemia will produce and that may produce vertigo or dizziness. That is why when we start antihypertensive drugs, especially which uh, uh, fail this compensatory mechanism, we say patient should take at night, right? Not in the daytime, or so that he or she sleeps, yes, right? Or at least in the bed, remain horizontal, don't stand, stand in the blood, uh, bed, okay. Now what I'm saying that, or when these drugs are given, many of them develop postural hypertension, but patient doesn't come and say, hey doctor, I have postural hypertension. Patient will come and say that uh, you have started a drug, I don't know what happened. Uh, it's controlling my blood pressure or not, but one thing I'm very sure, after your medication, when suddenly I stand up, I have blackouts in front of my eyes. Or patient has a tendency to fall, and real falls do occur, even in elderly patient fractures occur due to this. Yes. Is that right? Okay. This was, this was about strong vasodilators. But how volume contraction can induce postural hypertension? Answer is very simple. That if, look, okay, do a little more volume contraction. Now it is very less, right? From lying down position, if suddenly stand up, even physiological mechanism is working to squeeze, but volume is so low that in spite of squeezing, it cannot maintain proper venous return and cardiac output drops and that lead to reduce perfusion to the brain and reduce blood pressure and reduce perfusion to the brain and produce vertigo and dizziness and of course might be blackouts or patient may even fall. Am I clear? So this hypotension, I will tell you how it is diagnosed but first of all, what is postural hypotension? Postural hypotension or positional hypotension or orthostatic hypotension is a condition in which person from lying down position suddenly sit up or stand up and there is significant drop in systolic or diastolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure might fall more than 20 millimeter of mercury and diastolic blood pressure falls more than 10 millimeter of mercury. So if a patient from lying down position, you take up the blood pressure and on sitting or standing position, if systolic blood pressure falls more than more than 20 millimeter of mercury or diastolic blood pressure drops more than 10 millimeter of mercury, we say that patient is having postural or positional or orthostatic hypotension. hypotension. Now, patient on gliflozins have a tendency to have this problem because there's double reason for diuresis. Glucosuresis is inducing diuresis as well as natriuresis is inducing diuresis. And this diuresis which is induced lead to volume contraction and sometimes volume is so much contracted that on standing position in these patients, even the lower part of the body undergoes proper vaso constriction, still it cannot squeeze low amount of blood with to maintain enough venous return. So blood pressure drops, right? And that might result into uh, symptoms like vertigo and blackouts. And that may increase what? Risk of falls, especially in elderly. And falls in these patients on gliflozins is a very bad thing because that might result into fractures. 
Why? Actually, especially patients on glee flosins, they have a tendency to have more fractures. We are looking for different reason. One reason is more false. Secondly, uh, these drugs interfere with the parathyroid hormone metabolism and also interfere with vitamin D metabolism and reduce the mineralization of bones. So you imagine that patient who are on gliflozins for a long time, not only they have a tendency to fall, they are also having bones with less mineralization and of course more chances to have fractures. That is one of the side effects of these drugs. So am I clear? So what did I tell you? Briefly speaking that natriuresis and diuresis has benefit that it reduces systolic blood pressure slightly. But if there is uh, very uh, too much volume contraction that might result into postural, positional or orthostatic hypertension which might result into falls and if patient is on long term on these drugs, uh, patient might have low mineralization of the bone. So falls with low mineralization of the bone might result into fractures. Am I clear?